Every summer, the Totnes Elizabethan Society organises a series of races in which contestants chase oranges down Totnes High Street and 4th Street. The event commemorates a visit to Totnes by Sir Francis Drake in the 1580s, when the great explorer bumped into a delivery boy, causing him to spill his fast-moving fruit. the first time you've taken part in That's the Orange the first briefing. time I've taken part and I had brilliant fun. You've got to come to Torquay and try this. Not Torquay, Totnes, you mean. Totnes, sorry, Get Totnes. Right. You've got to there come down go. and try this. Brilliant fun, mate. Really? You really I've enjoyed that, didn't you? Yes. There you go. So you're going to come fun. back again next year? I'm coming again. I'm coming again. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. brilliant fun. Good. I'm glad you brilliant enjoyed fun. it. Have a good brilliant day. Fun. Thank you. Bye. about that as a race? Did you enjoy it? The best race I've ever run. Have you done it before? No, I haven't. So That's are you into marathon running? or? I am now. You are now? No, I've got that So we'll more, see you in the London Marathon next year yes. then, will we? I hope you do well in it anyway. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. I did. <laughs> I can see you've been training hard for that. I hope so. Yeah? You enjoy it? It's not a good race today. Not the first time you've taken part. That's my seventh year. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, at the start my orange peeled off. Oh. And, then, and then somebody stood on it, so it got squashed. Oh dear. And I was just pipped at the post there. You were just yeah. pipped to the post, but you did very well. So next year as well, number eight? I'll be training, training for that one. Well, look forward to that. Well done. So 
have not been satisfied with taking part in the one. You do the over 60s as well? I do. I don't believe I'm a you very young, look, like young looking it. policeman. You certainly are. I don't believe it. I think you deserve a medal. How was the second one? Better than the first? Yeah, that's a more manageable distance. There was this gentleman here who challenged me to it a long time ago. Oh, so right. I had to take part. Uh, take up the challenge this year. That's the way to do it. So we've got two very, very special items here. They are absolutely unique. They will never, ever be repeated. They've been made by Chris Kuntz to uh, as a stall on the market for us. We've got a wonderful bag, an orange race bag here. And we've got a 40th anniversary Totnes Elizabethan apron. Now, before we give out these prizes, I'm going to auction these. So, I'm going to auction them separately, the bag first, and then the apron. And I'd like some really generous bidding for these two unique items. You can take them away from Totnes as a memory of today. They are never going to be repeated. So, on the Antiques Roadshow, in 50 years time, they're going to be worth a bomb. Right, so here we go then. The bag first. Who's going to start me off with some nice bidding for this unique bag? How much? Ten pounds. Ten pounds I've got to start. Twenty-five? Right, it's going then. First. Second, and it's gone. 25 to this lady here. Well done. Thank you very much. In third place was Harry Matthews. Well done. Second place, Joseph. Well done. <coughs>